Everyone, welcome to Sairung is Rainbow! Everything is the same today, the location is the same, still the same couch and also I'm sitting in the same positions but today what's different here? I'm speaking English. As I'm not the native speakers, I will speak slow and also uh, easy to learn and also easy to listen. Should be nice, right? Just like to practice my speaking skills of English and also you guys can also practice your listening skill. Okay, and another thing here is this freckles. As you can see, this is a fake freckles. And also I have some real one here actually. It's quite blending, right? So today I'm gonna try to make the fake freckle makeup style which already been in, in trend for a while but I think it's almost out but it's fine anyway because I just want to do it I think it suit the time that I will go to Japan at the end of this year as well because I think this makeup look is quite look uh, very Japanese right like Japanese at that time if I go to Japan I would just do everything that I want like makeup dress up and uh, whatever that I wanted to do and people will not um, judge or react that much so that's what it came from this idea so let's go and see how to create this fake freckles makeup style and enjoy so first I will show you how I make this mermaid weave hairstyle from the straightener I will put it on the highest degrees and let it warm up a bit. I will separate my hair by using the comb as I wanted to style it. Divide my hair in three layers by using hair clip. By the time the straightener should be hot enough, then I start with one piece of hair. Press the straightener on and flip it 90 degrees and remove it out. Then start from the end of the wave, flip to the other direction 90 degrees as well and remove. First is done. Then we move on to the second and repeat the same. Flip, remove, flip and remove. You can also flip it and move on to the next wave without removing. It saves time but I prefer this way as it creates more perfect wave. Ta-da! Then the mermaid wave is accomplished. Move on to the makeup eventually. Always apply the moisturizer and sunscreen before any makeup. In this kit, I have already applied it. I will use this Hide Up Low Glow from Kiko Milano before the foundation. This will give me the dewy look on my skin and make it like the perfect glossy healthy skin. Apply it all over my face using my fingers, which is the best tool. Blend it out as much as you can. Next is the foundation from Bong Cho Paris Healthy Mix. I will put it on my hand but it's almost finished so I have to shake it first. Put it on for one and a half pump. Then I will warm it first by using the fingers. Apply it all over again. On the forehead, on the nose and the shin. And especially on the neck. We don't want any white face and dark neck looks. Blend it, blend it, blend it using this base tool. You have to blend it until it looks like your own skin. Then I will use this concealer from Innisfree for my dark circles. Give two dots on the panda eyes and using ring fingers to apply the product. As the ring finger will give the lightest pressure and less wrinkled. Using the tap motion around your under eyes and the upper as well. Do 
do it softly and gentle. Voila, no more panda girl. Then swirl the brush on the loose powder and apply it on your face to fix the foundation. Put it all over. And please don't forget the neck, girls. For the under eyes, I will use the press powder and the puff as I need more coverage. Put it on both sides. The skin is finished, we will go to the highest point of your face. I will use the eyebrow pencil from For You To using the spooling brush side to arrange my hair in the same direction. This pencil has two sides, the pencil side and spooling brush side. It's very useful. And then I will draw my eyebrow starting from the middle to the end of eyebrow. Just draw it along your eyebrow shape. For this look, I won't make it so sharp as I want it more innocent and young look. After finish the outline, you have to fill it in little by little for more natural. Then brush out to get rid of the excess product and also to make it not too stiff and more natural. Move on to the other side and using the same method. Then I will use this brow specialist eyebrow kit from For You Too using the darkest color on the end of your eyebrow. And then lighter color on the middle. Then mix of two lightest color on the tip of your eyebrow. This will give your eyebrow more dimensions. By using the powder form, it will give more natural and also fill more gap in your eyebrow. After that, we blend it out, doing the same on the other side. Then using the hyper curl volume, Express waterproof mascara from Maybelline to coat the eyebrow and give some more hair to my eyebrows. Doing on both sides. Eyebrow on fleek, yeah! Then I will go to the chic using the lipstick from NYX, color name Orange County, which is the vivid orange color. Put it on my cheek and also to the middle of my face area using the fingers and also on the other side as well. Now, so I will add some on my nose to make a fake snow burn from the freezing cold day. Apply some of the same lipstick color on my eyelids for both sides. Then using this red color lipstick named Kitten Heels sounds so cute and using this small brush to make a wing start from the middle to the end apply it on the lower lash line as well to connect the lower and the upper color To make my eyes pop out, I will use the highlight on the middle of my eyelids and blend it to the corner of my eyes. Mm -hmm. 
blend it, blend it, and blend it. And we will put it on the lower lash line and the eye corner as well to make this innocent deer eyes. And using the brown eyeliner from ETD House on the lash line, put it super close to the eyelashes. I look so scary when applying that. Then using the triangle brush to blur the line, we can wing it out a bit. The eyes is almost done, but not yet. Then curl your lashes. Apply the first round of mascara. first round will look like this then go on to the second round so long this may really make it happen then I will let the mascara dry first and move on to the highlight part the freckles I will use the same brown liner and dot it as much as I want to have these fake freckles Put it on the nose and the cheek. I am a freckle girl. Yippee! Come back to the third round of mascara and I promise that I will stop here. I am so happy to have these freckles and long long lashes. Add the highlight on my cheekbones and the tip of my nose and also the bridge and some on the chin to get that glow healthy skin. Apply some mascara on the lower lodges, make it two rounds. Then you will get these innocent deer eyes. Apply the vivid orange lipstick at the middle of the lips. Then blend it out using your fingers. And using the clear color lip gloss from Kiko Milano and apply it on the middle part of your lips. Not yet, I will put the highlight on the cupid bows as well to pop my lips out a bit more. I put my hair down and here is the finished look. I hope you guys like this fake freckle makeup look and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to press like, share button and subscribe to my channel as I will create more fun videos for you. Leave the comments below if you want more videos in English or what kind of contents you would like me to do. And stay tuned, see you later. Bye!